Oh, whoa, that was staticky. Oh, let's not do that again. Hello, children. It's Monday night, and you know what that means? It's more phenomenal Monday, and we're painting some Power Rangers. I hope that my sound is working okay. I feel very close to the camera. I don't know, that was really staticky when I first came in. I don't know what that was. Hopefully you didn't hear it. Maybe I'll, uh, I was the only one that heard it. It's very possible. I am definitely not a pro when it comes to all this technology. Uh, and as you saw once before, if anything ever like crashes or stops working, I am screwed. Anyway, it's Monday. More Phenomenal Monday. We're painting some Psycho Rangers. Last Psycho Ranger of the box. That means that we've already done green, which is I think the first one that we did. Uh, blue, black, yellow, pink, and now uh, Psycho Red. Um, I am Daddy Louie, member of the Circle of Nerds. You can find all my content over on YouTube.com slash Circle of Nerds. Please go over there, drop a subscribe, like some of my videos. You don't even have to do that. If you just subscribe and then never look at the channel again, that would be aces. I mean, if you want to look at the channel, go ahead. But that is really the most important thing. Uh, thank you to Renegade, as always, for having me on stream today. Nowhere else that I would rather be on this fine Monday afternoon slash evening slash night. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch down to our table view so that you can see what we are painting. It's, oh, man, we're super, uh, super blurry there. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I was doing some prep work on some other models just a minute ago before this started. Uh, so there he is in all of his glory, looking quite uh, like like a leader. Uh, I don't personally like this pose very much. It looks like he's, you know, telling the group, hold up, you know, with his fist in the air. I don't know if he's like, you know, telling the truck driver to to blow his horn or if he's i don't know what he's doing fist bump in the sky i don't really know uh, but what i do like about this pose is that he should be pretty easy to paint so um well, because there's no you know weird angles or anything like that next week we have our last space ranger uh which is in space and then we start going back to some new models there's some new models that uh, that are coming up, so uh, super exciting. Uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, all right, so we're gonna start with our favorite color in the whole wide world. That's German gray. This is a Vallejo color. Uh, I should take stock in German gray. I should have uh, like a tub of it delivered to my house. Um, I've been painting for about five years now, give or take, uh, maybe a little longer. And uh, this is actually only my second bottle of German Grey that I've ever gone through. And it was one of the very first paints that I ever purchased. So uh, if you use your paints correctly, use a wet palette, paint pot can last you a really long time. I don't know how close this one is to, you know, being done. But uh, so far, it's working out quite well for me. Um, we're going to use a little bit of airbrush thinner. Works really well with the, especially with the Vallejo colors. Uh, maybe it's because it is also a Vallejo product. I'm not sure. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I use German Grey on pretty much every single model that I paint. Uh, in, you know, anything that needs uh, or requires some type of black, it always gets uh, German Grey. Even if it's just straps or whatever, um, something, it's always German gray. Um, I made sure that I reprimed this model today. Because uh, it was one of the ones that I had originally primed way back when. But then if you remember, we had all those issues with the primer. So I went ahead and redid it. And uh, hopefully that is a smart thing to do. Uh, I think I may have watered this paint down a little bit too much. I'm going to roll with it for now, but we may need to add a little more. Uh, so the goal here is just to uh, get this color uh, everywhere that is going to be uh, quote-unquote black. 
uh, which is a good chunk of the model, pretty much the majority of the model. Um, I don't care if I get the this color on the spots that are going to be red, because uh, I can paint over that. I really want to avoid the spots that are going to stay white, if at all possible. It just makes the final uh, parts of the uh, final process of painting the model a little bit easier. So if you see me being sloppy in some areas and not in others, that is why. Uh, the areas I'm not being sloppy are the areas that, uh, like I said, I'd like to try and keep as white as possible. But because this is so watered down, that's going to be pretty difficult <laughs> to do. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I've really enjoyed painting the uh, Psycho Rangers. Uh, the green was absolutely my favorite to paint. Uh, I'll show him off a little later. Um, I am excited to paint this red guy, though. I do enjoy painting red. It's one of my favorite colors to paint. Uh, red, green, blue, purple. Uh, those tend to be my favorite colors to paint for the most part. Uh, maybe not so much blue. I painted a lot of ultramarines in my day. Maybe I'm a little over blue. I guess it depends on what color blue. Definitely don't like the darker navy space marine blue. But some of the lighter blues, the Calgar blue, or the, uh, Cal I think it's Caledon uh, Sky, something along those lines. Those are really good to colors to paint with. Uh, but red is great too. And that's what we're going to be painting today. Uh, I was nervous that I had watered it down too much, but it's going on like a dream. Uh, one thing that is great about this paint is that very, very rarely, if ever, will you need two coats of this color. Unless you've watered it down too much, you shouldn't need two coats. Uh, one coat is usually pretty solid, especially if you're going to end up doing a wash over top of it, uh, which I don't think that we are. Um, I haven't been for most of the Psycho Rangers, so we'll be uh, not doing that, but... Uh, I'm excited to do that lineup shot, you know, with all the Psycho Rangers together. And the same thing with the In Space. Uh, we have some exciting streams coming up, if you are not familiar with that. Um, so like I said, next Monday, one week from today... Same time, same channel, we will be painting uh, the final uh, ranger from the Rise of the Psycho Ranger box. That is the pink in space ranger. Um, and then after that, the uh, that following weekend, the weekend of the 27th and 28th, I believe, um, we are going to be having two different streams. One on that Friday um, at, I believe it is 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we are going to be painting um, one of the new Power Rangers from the last uh, Kickstarter that Renegade just did. Uh, that's the Purple Solar Ranger, I believe is what it's called. Um, and then the next day, Saturday... At 1 p.m. Pacific time, we are going to be painting a G.I. Joe miniature from the upcoming recently announced um, G.I. Joe role-playing game from Renegade. So I'm very excited about that. Um, still have not picked out who I'm going to paint, um, but I'm, I've narrowed it down to two. So that's all I'll say with that. And then that following Monday, August 30th, um, we're right back here Monday night for our live stream, our More Phenomenal Monday. Uh, and we are painting, I'm not going to tell you, but another new model, um, a villain this time. 
So that will be really exciting. Um, so basically, the next two Mondays, as well as a bonus weekend, you're getting lots and lots of painting videos, which is super duper exciting. Um, and I'm excited to bring them and, and do them. Uh, Solaris purple. Uh, what did I say? Solar? I guess I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> um, the miniature is super cool, though. And, um, like, I really dig the helmet style. And, uh, I really like the pose. If it were up to me and I were to do a custom, I could totally see, um, painting the miniature as a... Um, um, like a character from Tron because, uh, she's got like the disc weapon thing. And, uh, yeah, that, I think that would just be a super cool, um, custom paint job. Uh, thanks for uploading some of the Louis paintings to YouTube. I know you still have White Dino Thunder, uh, but will you also be doing his Renegade Con paintings like Space Silver? Yes, I believe that they are going to be uploading everything. Um, they're just, they're backlogged right now with, with uploading stuff. And unfortunately, I don't have the uh, permissions to do it myself. Just like I know it said, uh, you know, Vampire Masquerade in the beginning on the thing. I think it's fixed now, but um, I don't have the ability to fix that either. Uh, this weapon is going to be fun to paint as well. Um, because there's kind of like this cool fade um, between black and silver at the end. Um, so the whole, th at first I thought, when I looked at it, I thought the whole thing was just straight black. But then upon further investigation, uh, I realized that the tip was actually silver. So that'll be fun to uh, paint. I'm not very good at like blending. Um, so unfortunately I can't like show super cool blending skills between the two um but we'll still make it look cool that limits the list yes it does it does limit the list of what you're getting uh, on the 30th I hope that everyone is having a great week so far. I realize that it's only um, Monday, but, uh, you know, starting the week off strong is um, it's important. The weeks that I uh, do painting videos on Monday, I tend to have much better weeks than the weeks that I don't, so... Uh, and I think it's just because uh, I'm a lot more pumped, a lot happier. Since Astronomo was painted, we only have Blaze, Roxy, uh, Darkonda, Dana, Kyla. Evil Dino White, Mezoga. Well, that's pretty. That's a pretty. Um, I don't know if I have the Tronics Foot Soldiers. To be honest, I have to go through and like categorize and catalog what I've got and what I don't have. Uh, so I don't know if I got one of those models or not. To be honest, 
Um, and I can tell you with certainty that it's not evil Dino White. I'm trying, uh, I'm trying to avoid painting that one on stream since I already pointed the other one and the models aren't going to give you much of a, uh, a change in how I paint or color schemes or anything like that. You can pretty, watch, pretty much watch my other video to paint both versions. Um, like, I think I have two videos of the, uh, of the dino black, you know, like the robot version and the non-robot version. And that, too, is also kind of pointless. I mean, there is a little slight variation in, in the uh, color palette of those, but there isn't with the, uh, with the other guy. If you get to choose, I'm pretty sure from previous streams, you should know who it would be. Yeah, Astronomo was a great paint job. That that model ended up being a lot of fun to paint. The schedule is already set for me, um, for the most part. I don't have, like, a ton of say in, um, in what I get to paint. I mean, I do to an extent, um, but the schedule that I'm on now was set up already for me, uh, which that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but, um... Yeah, so, um, yeah, the paint, uh, the, what I'm going to paint is not my choice. I will tell you that if it was my choice, without a doubt, um, I would paint, um, the, the dog looking guy. God, I can't remember his name. Is that Dana? Dane? Danae. Danae. Is it Danae? How, how is it pronounced? I don't know how it's pronounced. But that's my favorite model from that... Um, from, from that Kickstarter. The second that I opened the box, you know, to look at all the models that they sent me... I was instantly drawn to that model. That was my favorite. Love the pose. Um, just going to be a really, really fun model to paint once I get to it. Whenever that may be. That might be next stream. It might be next year. Who knows? Well, I do. But you don't. <laughs> a kid, a kid. Now I'm just teasing you guys. Like a great Dane. Got it. So, Dane. I don't know why I kept wanting to say Dana. Yep, Dane's my dude. Love that model. Um, but there's some sleepers in there, too. Like, the model that I'm getting to paint on the 30th, I was looking at the model today, and I'm like, I don't, I need to go and find, like, reference pictures of this character, because I don't know the character, but based on just the model alone, like, I'm like, holy moly, that's a lot of, a lot of different details and stuff. I realized I was, like, completely missing this foot. Like, I started painting it, and then I just, like, stopped. I don't know if it will be a lot of details. You know, sometimes you end up, um, like, even with Astronema, like, she has a lot of stuff on her, but it's all pretty much all black and all metal color. Um, so I don't know. I have to look up the character and see if that's, 
you know, a similar situation. All right. So I think that's all of my black slash German gray here. I wish they released videos for each Monday of painting. A lot hard to paint models to be on. Alrighty then. Um, I guess we go ahead and we get right into our reds. Uh, we're, our base red is going to be Mephiston red. It's the darkest red that I have that really kind of fits this palette. Um, which is fine. This paint I've had since I started painting. So I've had this for like five years. Had it a long, long time. Uh, but it's definitely low. Uh, let's see. Get these straps here. Little crotch straps. Painting the inside of the uh, of the emblem there on his belt buckle. Um, the outside gets painted gold like everybody else's, but. I thought this paint was uh, already watered down since it was in a dropper. When I put all my GW paints in droppers back like, oh man, it was probably three or four years ago. Um, I followed a tutorial on uh, YouTube and they had recommended that you put like a flow, you know, flow improver in there to make it so that, um, everything just came out the pot easier which is which ended up working really well but for 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 some of the colors um you, you they made them watered down you know what i mean like so i didn't have to water them down anymore um this one came out like it was like that but Apparently not, so I added a little bit of water. Uh, 
Uh, you use German Grey and Mephiston Red. Yep, that's exactly what I did. German Grey and Mephiston Red. Um, definitely going to brighten these reds up a little bit. Um, but this is going to be our base color here. I do reuse a lot of the same colors. I am a, I'm a creature of habit. Once I find a color that I like, um, you know, it's, it's tough for me to change. And for, for things like the Power Rangers, right? I, I imagine, um, like if you watch if you watch the episode of the Power Rangers where all the red, like the all the Red Rangers got together, right, and they're all standing next to each other, they are so incredibly similar in red color. Like they're not dramatically different. So you don't really need, you know, a hundred different reds to paint Power Rangers. Like you need one or two good reds, and. And you're set for for painting red Power Rangers. And the same thing is true with every other color. And yeah, it makes the uh, paint list of paints that you gotta buy um, not that bad. Because one thing that I, and I think I've mentioned this on our previous stream, um, when I first started painting, um, like seriously painting a lot, um, I would... I would go on, like, let's say, for example, I wanted to paint this Power Ranger here, this this Psycho Ranger. Um, I would go online, and I would find one of my favorite YouTubers, one of my favorite painters, and I would type in how to paint, you know, in this case, Red Psycho Ranger. And most of the big YouTubers will paint the same things, right? So, you know... Um, I don't, I'm terrible with names, so I can't really think of any of their names right now. But, you know, Streamer A, he's got a video of, you know, how to paint an ultramarine. And then, you know, Streamer B also has a uh, video of how to paint an ultramarine. And um, so on and so forth. So I would just type in what it is that I was wanting to paint. And I would find the video that was closest to my painting style and most good painters when they release a um a video one of the very first screens on the video or even in the description will be a list of the paints and the paint colors that they'd use and i would literally go out to the store and buy paint for paint color uh paint for paint what it is that they recommended that they use even if they only used it for, like, the belt buckle or, you know, the buttons, I would still buy the paint. And then I would come home, and then I would paint the model while watching the video. And I would just do exactly what they did. And that's how I started, like, getting into painting. The problem with that, <laughs> if you can imagine, is I now have paint colors 
that I've literally just used that one time um, to do, like, the one guy's buttons or, like, you know, a glo one glow effect on one guy's sword. And then I never use those paints again because creature of habit, when I do need a red or a blue or a purple, I pretty much go to the same ones that I'm used to. I don't go to those obscure colors. Uh, and why would you? Mephiston red's a great color. You don't really need too many other reds. Is that why you like to paint screen accurate over your own design? Yes. I just, I'm not creative when it comes to, like, color palettes and stuff like that. Um, it's like, um, another example of it is, uh, there's a lot of games out there, uh, miniature games mostly, that that give you rules right um and but they don't give you models for example um games like frostgrave where you're encouraged to use you know whatever models you want to represent your your characters or um you know those same people just released a, a game called stargrave um but there's a lot of games like that um Ranger, I think there's one called like Rangers of the Deep or something like that. Um, and that's where you know, getting models from like, uh, um, what is that company that makes like just generic models? Um, they make like the little plastic ones, bones. Uh, they also make paints, Reaper, Reaper miniatures, right? So you know, I struggle being able to play those games at all that don't come with miniatures that I can look up f reference photos for because I'm just terrible at at uh, doing my own doing my own color schemes. So. So yes, to answer your question, that is why I like screen accurate stuff. You ever theme an army or a squad? Nope. <laughs> when I first started playing Warhammer, I really wanted to create my own um, Space Marine chapter. But I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do for colors. So I ended up going ultramarine because talk about being generic. <laughs> um, I have a Mandalorian cosplay. I have the helmet next to my desk. And I have all of the armor plates already. And I've had them for a while. The reason that they're still sitting in the box and haven't been used and I haven't done anything with it is because for the life of me, I cannot decide on a on a color scheme. It stinks. You know, I need like somebody to help me and be like, you know, this, these are the colors you should do, which I know is lame. It kind of like defeats the the purpose, but that's just. I don't know, I have a weird sense of color palette or lack of color palette sense or whatever. Well, the armor is unpainted. It's like white. 
Like, I need to get, like, the soft parts for it, like, the jumpsuit and all that. But I don't know what color to use. <laughs> yes, I've seen Sabine. Yeah, so gray and red, or gray and maroon, um, are actually the palettes, the color palette that, that I'm looking at working with. Um, a lot of it, too, I mean, I exaggerate a little because, like, I mean, it's not just about my lack of color design. If I really wanted to, I could probably sit down and knock out a color scheme or whatever. Um... It really is time to... But I don't even have a starting point. Um... Man, my, um... There's, like, all these shadows and stuff in my room. It's usually a little brighter in here. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of dark outside. That might be why.
Um, so right now I'm just uh, working my uh, working my reds. Um, just trying to make sure I have a decent coat for my base color. Like I said, we are going to use a brighter color. Um, we're going to go Evil Sun Scarlet, I think. Uh, which is a step up from here. I'll save fixing the black and the white for last. I once tried making my own chapter with Chaos Marine. Oh, yeah. I like the way Alpha Legion looks a lot. I really like that color scheme. That Alpha Legion color scheme. I wish I had an RPG group. Yeah, I avoid Discord, like, the plague. That's why I'm still running solo on uh, Pokemon Unite, because it seems like if, if you want to roll with a group, you have to have Discord. And I'm like, well, I guess uh, that leaves me out. There's just too many people, and it's impossible to keep up with the chats. Like I don't know I don't understand how people can use it to be honest. Especially when you, especially when you're in like multiple discords, like oh my gosh, like I don't know how anybody can keep up with all that. It's like you put your phone down and then you look at it two minutes later and there's like a hundred messages in the in the groups. It's crazy.
Speaking of the new, um, uh, speaking of Warhammer, since we talked about it briefly, um, has anyone seen the, uh, new information about the new kill team that is coming out in just under two weeks? And is anybody going to be getting into that? My little playgroup is really excited about it. It's like a way to inexpensively play uh, Warhammer, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I want to play the the Power Rangers role-playing game, too. I have a buddy who says if I buy it, he'll run it, but... I don't know, we've, supposed to, we've been trying to play role-playing games for a while, and it just never ends up happening, so... It kind of sucks. Let's see, let's check up on the chat here. Discord's best way to find a group on anything. Uh, I'm from Brazil, and the Power Ranger community there just keeps growing every day. They're so excited about the RPG and the comics. Comics are really good. Uh, Discord helped me with Pokemon Go and find people for playing Power Rangers with. Also, my friends who aren't on PlayStation anymore, since they gave it up for a computer, I talk to them on Discord. You're only in three or four groups. See, if I were on Discord, I'd be on, like, a, a role-playing game group to try and find uh, role players. I'd be on a Pokemon Unite group. I'd be on a Kill Team group. I'd be on a Painting group. Uh, Pokemon TCG. Uh, we'll highlight up those reds a little bit more in a minute. Uh, I'm going to switch over to... Uh, I think I'm going to go with silver right now. Uh, which, of course, is lead belcher uh, for our base colors. This is going to be for the mouth and for the, uh, for the buckles and stuff, or the snaps. Really wanted to learn how to play Heroes of the Grid, but I don't even know half the rules. Um, it's actually a pretty easy game to learn. Um, Becca Scott has a great um, how to play, as well as a um, uh, as well as a let's play with a group. That's how I learned how to play.
meeting Becca Scott. That's like one of my uh, bucket lists. I mean, if we're coming up with bucket lists and dreams, my my real dream would be to be a part of Becca Scott's playgroup, but I digress. I reached out to her on Instagram once, and she actually replied to me. Um, I was trying to get her to be a guest on my um, Circle of Nerds podcast. And so I reached out, and like I said, she actually responded to me, which I was not expecting. And um, she was like, yeah, I'd love to be on your podcast as long as our schedules line up. And... Uh, so then I tried a couple of times after that to actually, like, get our schedules to line up, and um, she just kind of, like, stopped replying, which is fine. I know she's super busy, but uh, she's one of my favorite influencers, for sure. If I could play any game with Becca Scott, what would it be? Oh. Honestly, it would probably be a role-playing game. Which, and I don't really even care which one it is. Like, any, any role-playing game, I think. Um... Just because then, you know, like, you get to hang out and you get to, like, play pretend and, I don't know. I think that that would be super fun. Start it on your bucket list. Eat a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Meet and greet with JDF. Yeah. I met JDF. That was cool.
Um, okay, so the next part I'm going to show you is, so I'm not good at, um, I'm not good at blending. It's something that, it's a skill that I'm still, uh, I'm still a novice at. I'm still working on it. So, if you look at the Psycho Ranger's weapon, um, his saber or sword or whatever you want to call it. Man, why is that not coming off? There we go. Uh, the tip of the sword kind of fades uh, from, like, it, it's silver and then it fades to black. Um... So, if you're good at blending, this is, this would be a good, um, a good place for you to practice. Because uh, you, you're going to want to blend from this black to, to the silver, or silver to the black. But as you can see, I just kind of brushed it on, and it lo I mean, you can tell the difference here between this and that. So, one thing that you can, um... Uh, one thing that you can do in order to uh, do that uh, without having to do the blending is a uh, cheap check tech cheap bleh, cheap technique that I will show you uh, right now as soon as I finish fixing this mouth because it's driving me crazy. So that's a little better. Okay. Um, so the sword. Um, it's really easy. And it works some of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. And it's called, drum roll, dry brushing. So um, I put the two colors on. And then I take the color that is darker, which in this case is the gray, and you dry brush over and you're basically going like you're like just pushing together those two things. Does it look as good as blending? No, it does not. However, it still kind of gives you that effect a little. Not great, but for our purposes, And I, this side actually looks a lot better than the top side, so I'll probably redo that. I don't know if you can see that. Again, not great, but works for me. Uh, I almost got to meet Steve. 
Cardenas once. I don't know who that is. Oh, it plays Rocky. Yeah, COVID ruined everything, huh? Looks so cool. Thank you. Uh, is it me or is the video and the audio out of sync? I do not know. You have to let me know. Is my voice in my mouth moving at the same time? When do Heroes of the Grid matches take place? I don't know what you mean. Um, like when in the Power Ranger timeline? Because I don't think that's really been specified. Have to bail for it. No, not for me, but maybe it's just on my side. Yeah, I don't know. No one else has said anything, so maybe it is just you. Uh, getting the gold out. How do you remove paint? I have some horrible figures I painted like Psycho Green and seeing yours makes mine trash. I don't even want to look at them. Um, green, uh, simple green is the best way to strip, strip, is the best way to strip a miniature. Um, you literally go to the store, get a bottle of simple green uh, it'll most likely come in a spray bottle and uh, get yourself a little cup and put the miniature, the miniature, listen to me talk today, put the miniature, miniature, bleh, inside of the cup and then um, pour simple green over it so that the whole, the entire miniature is covered. Let it soak for about two hours take it out um leave don't don't dispose of the cup because you'll need it um and old toothbrush under warm water soap and you can brush the paint off um every two hours if if it doesn't all come off basically every two hours you can uh, and then put the miniature back in, and then every two hours you can get back in there. You were driving earlier, but Becca Scott hearts. Yes, lots of hearts. All the hearts go to Becca Scott today. Becca, if you're watching, let's collab. That's my dream. 
collab with Becca Scott. I don't even care what we do. We could do a let's play. We could do a review. We could do a how to play. We could just talk about nerdy stuff. I don't care. Whatever you want to do, Becca. Whatever you want to do. That's what we'll do. If you want to spend an hour just watching my videos and telling me how horrible they are, as long as we can do that together, I'm fine with it. Uh, I went to uh, all through and gray here, and I'm just touching up um, some of the white spots. Did anybody see Free Guy this weekend? Really want to know how it was. Because I really want it to be good. Because I really want to see it. I watched Suicide Squad this weekend, finally. And I loved it. My kind of movie, for sure. Disney ordered a sequel already? I didn't even know it was a Disney movie. It stinks it's not on Disney+. Plus. We want. I wanted to go to the movies this weekend to see it, but uh, we ended up going out to the river on Saturday, um, and we got horribly, horribly sunburnt. So yesterday... My wife and I especially, we were just, we were down for the count all day. We just laid and felt like crap. Like, y'all should see my legs. It's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous.
I'm struggling with the light today. I don't know why. It's being awfully finicky. Yeah, I think DC movies get too much hate. Like, some of them are not that bad. At least not as bad as everybody makes them out to be. Um, I wasn't a fan of the Justice League, either one. Like, I just thought that the, the newer one, the director's cut or whatever, was just a longer version, longer just as terrible version of the first one but like the wonder woman movie um man of steel i loved man of steel the first suicide squad movie this suicide squad movie everybody hates on jared leto's joker i liked jared leto's joker Oh, definitely have to stop comparing them to Marvel. They're completely different. Yeah, go watch Iron Man 2, everybody. Like... Well, even the first Captain America. Like, I did not like the first Captain America until... Oh... Uh, I mean, I probably didn't really appreciate the first Captain America movie until, like, Civil War came out. And then, you know, once you're, like, in love with Steve Rogers, going back and watching the first one, you're like, okay, it's it's a pretty good movie. But, Yeah, the second and the third Iron Man movies are horrid. So, so bad. Everybody gives the first Thor movie so much shit. I'm like, man, I don't I don't even mind the first Thor movie. But the Iron Man movies outside of the first one were just... Whew, they were rough. Which is not to say, like, I mean, some of the DC movies are pretty bad. I didn't really like the second uh, Wonder Woman, which is a shame because I really liked the first one. Um, but, yeah. I digress. Well, all of our base colors are done. Like, completely, completely done. Yeah, Iron Man 3 is pretty low on the list for me, too. Oh, and Hot Take. 
PS PSA from Daddy Louie. This I know this will probably there's a lot of like MCU lovers out there. People will probably crap on me for this. But Ragnarok was not that good. People. I do not understand the love for Ragnarok. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Not saying it was bad. Not putting it like at the bottom of the list. But people saying like it's top five or their favorite. Sorry. I don't agree with you. <laughs> Poor Jar Jar. Uh, so yeah, all our base colors are on there, and we still got a ton of time. So, we are going to do some... Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's, like, a terrible movie. I just don't understand... Like, people, like, think it's the best, and I just... I don't... I don't get it. Like, okay, if you watch the new Suicide Squad movie, right... Um, I think that King Shark in Suicide Squad is better than what they were trying to do with Hulk in Ragnarok. Well, that's probably true. It probably does get overhyped because the first two Thor movies weren't that great. But, like, if I had to watch, sit down and watch one of the Thor movies, it w I don't know that it would be Ragnarok. I think it would probably be the first one if I had to watch one of them. But, again, I, I don't think it's top five. Maybe it's in the top ten. Maybe not top five, though. For me, the best MCU movie, period, end of discussion, is Winter Soldier. That's my favorite. Uh, so this is this uh, color. I should probably tell you guys what I'm doing. This is uh, Wild Rider Red. And this is uh, what we're going to be using as an extreme highlight. Probably not going to be um, able to see it much on the screen. Because uh, it is an extreme highlight. But um, I will uh, do my best to... Basically, we're just finding the sharp edges. Yeah, one three two for me probably with Thor. Uh, Guardians of the Ga uh, Galaxy is definitely um, top three for me. Winter Soldier. It's probably Winter Soldier, Infinity War. Mm. Yeah, it's probably it's probably Winter Soldier, Infinity War, Guardians of the Galaxy. Top three. Probably in that order.
Black Panther is top 10, but not top 5. Um, and Shang-Chi looks freaking ridiculous. It looks so good. Like, I think Shang-Chi is going to end up being, like, like one of those movies that people aren't going to expect. Like Black Panther, right? Like, no one was expecting Black Panther to be as good as it was. And I think Shang-Chi is going to do that exact same thing. I think it's going to... At least that's what I'm hopeful for. Uh, Black Widow was excellent. Elena was fantastic. Definitely want to see more Elena. Although Red Guardian was pretty great too. This is crazy that... Uh, Yeah, I feel like they're just trolling us now with the uh, with not having a trailer. my paint stand go.
I saw something uh, on, I think it was on TikTok, uh, like a day or two ago, that said that one theory as to why they have not released the trailer yet is because they don't want to disappoint people because, um, I guess from what the TikToker was saying, I don't know how true this is, um, it was never actually confirmed that Tobey Maguire and Richard Garfield, or Andrew Garfield, were going to be in this new movie. So this guy was basically speculating that there's a chance that they won't be. And so because of the internet hype, now the studio is like scrambling. Like, what the hell do we do? Like, we don't want to disappoint people. Um, I mean, everything is pointing to that happening because of the return of the villains and stuff, which was confirmed. But the actual, like, them being in the movie for a substantial amount of time has not been confirmed. Again, I don't know how true that is. Um, I don't keep up with, like, you know, what's confirmed and what's just rumors. But that was what the one TikToker's... So that's what the TikTok guy was saying, was like, that's why you guys haven't gotten a trailer yet, is because literally Disney is, like, crapping their pants about, well, what do we do? Now everybody's expecting these guys to be major parts in this movie, and they're not going to be, or not meant to be. Again, maybe that's all not true, but that was his theory anyway. I was like, hmm. Interesting. Exactly, like they confirmed all the villains. That's definitely happening. I think, you know, Green Goblin and everything, you know, putting together a Sinister Six. And I think that it's almost like a guarantee there'll at least be a cameo. But what if all that is like happening at the very end of the movie and it's just a cameo and not like where these characters are going to be in the movie for a substantial amount of time. But everybody just anticipates that it will be. That would be crazy. Sure, so I have two brushes, two primary brushes that I'm using currently. Um the brush that is currently in my hand is a um a Raphael brush and it is a size one and my other brush which i will show you in just a second is a Winsor newton series seven size zero and those are the two brushes that i primarily use So here is the uh, here's the Raphael brush. 
Um, it is a number one. It's just scraped off there what, what the number was. Uh, this is my larger of the two brushes. Um, currently using this for most of like base colors and stuff like that. And then when I need something sharp uh, and small, I switch over to this is a Windsor and Newton Series 7 number 0. Um, this brush is very easy to find on uh, Amazon. So you don't have to go through um, a specialty store or anything like that. You can just order this on Amazon. Um, and if you can't find a Raphael brush or don't want to use a Raphael brush, you can just order um, a Windsor Newton Series 7 number 1 as well and just have a 1 and a 0 of this. Totally fine. Um, because the Raphael brushes, they do not currently sell, or at least last time I checked, they do not sell these on, uh, on Amazon. You have to buy these from a specialty brush shop and they tend to be a little expensive. Um, I was using just two Raphael brushes, um, uh, but if you've been following me on stream, you know, I was having issues with my smaller Raphael brush. So I switched back to a Winsor Newton and I'm very happy that I did. Um, in a pinch, if you could only get one, I would say get, uh, this right here. So. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me... I'm letting the base dry real quick. So somebody said that um, the back of the figure was off and I just checked the rest of my, um, uh, the rest of the miniatures that I painted and he is absolutely right. I don't know why I literally I've painted, this is my sixth, uh, my sixth Psycho Ranger that I've painted and all of them are correct <laughs> except for this one. So thank you to, uh, Lord Malachite for uh, calling me out on that because uh, that would have sucked if I had, had everything else the same except for this guy. So uh, he's going to get some German Grey. Um, if this was for me, I probably would have left it because, um, I kind of like it better and I would have taken, you know, just some of those personal liberties for my own model. But since this is going to someone 
and I've already painted the other ones like that. I don't want them to have a mismatch set. So, it's very easy to fix. Back to the uh, back to the German gray here. went off screen just for a second so that I can uh, not screw up all of the uh, All right, uh, like I said, easy fix. The collar all the way around the back is white. everything to match. Yep, you're right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's a good thing that we finished early today.
All right. Well, thanks, stream. Uh, that would not... Um, I mean, it is what it is. It happens all the time with, um, you know, painting. Sometimes you miss a spot. Um, but I'm glad you guys caught it and let me know because now they all match. Check one more thing. Switch to the red on the top looks good, but the black outline kind of rubbed off a little bit. I don't know why I thought the collar was just the front. Now I feel like I need to go check my other the other ones. Uh, since we're pretty much done here anyway. His left boot should also be pink. Ha ha ha, you're funny. Good to me. Thought I saw. Oh, he looks good. All right, let's grab the other. The other rangers here. We got the pink. See, I made her neck seal white. I wonder if her neck seal is supposed to be. This is what happens when you take, like, severe breaks in between. Yeah, so her neck seal should be black. So, I guess you're going to see me uh, do a little bit of work on all these.
Am I sure what? Am I sure that is? Yeah, that I got. That collar I got. No, I'm looking at I'm looking at screenshots from the show, and her neck seal is like. And when I say her neck seal, I mean like, like the thing that's actually her neck. Like between her helmet and her call, like the collar is different. So yes, her collar is white all the way around, but her neck seal, the thing that goes around her neck, basically her balaclava that's covering her head underneath her helmet is, uh, is black. And I had that white for whatever reason. And then I had her collar not black all the way around. So now we've got the collar and the next seal, the correct color. Okay, next. Uh, buh, buh, buh. So it looks like I got blue all set there. Next seal is black. Collar is white. That looks correct to me. Um, yellow we did last week. And it looks like two weeks ago. Let's see. Yellow. Black, we're good with the gold, the gold collar. And then if you remember back all the way to the green, which was the first one that we did when we went all crazy on the base and stuff. Probably the best, uh, the best one we had done looks super good. I think we spent two streams painting him. If I'm not mistaken. It was almost 100% more than one. Because we, uh, yeah. I remember that. Uh, we did all kinds of cool stuff with that one. Uh, so we do have to fix the yellow. And luckily I think I might have enough time to do it. Um, because again, the next seal is, I painted it white instead of black. And then I didn't paint the collar at all. I'm glad we have time to fix this now because otherwise I'd have stayed up tonight fixing it because I'm 
even though I'm not like a pro painter, I am like OCD about stuff like that. Oh no, we got black where we didn't want black. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Come on, yellow. So, um, um, I got some black paint on the yellow, and, uh, this was yellow contrast that we used to do this, so... Um, I've put a lighter coat of yellow over top of the black to kind of cover it up. Um, but it's obviously super noticeable that the colors are different. Uh, so I'm going to have to, um, redo some of the contrast paints. Probably won't happen on stream since we're pretty much out of time. Um... That is a tight space. Definitely need the smaller brush for that. All right. Um, so all of the neck seals and the collars are all fit. That's awesome. Yes, this is definitely <laughs> where wet palette comes in handy. Uh, and since we still have a minute. So I had gotten black on this part of the shoulder here where you can see it's a lot more yellow than this side. Um, that's because I put some yellow from when we painted the Yellow Ranger, um, last week, I guess it was. So, now I've just gone and I've gotten the orange contrast paint that we used. And I'm just throwing a thin layer over top of it. Just the spot that I got stuff on. Um, and I'm gonna let it dry. And, uh, as you can see now, it does look slightly lighter. 
but it dries darker than uh, than it goes on. So um, no harm, no, no foul there. Um, yeah, that'll dry. So we've got our um, let's see. We've got our green. We have our black. And we've got our blue. And our pink. And our yellow, which I just fixed. And then what we painted here, our red. Uh, so I'm going to let all these dry, and uh, I'll take pictures of the whole gang together. Uh, probably not today, just because I do have to let those dry. Um, and I need to find a space to do it, because holy moly, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm running out of space on my, on my painting table here. Um, but anyway, let's switch over to... Well, there we go. <laughs> um, so anyway, thanks for uh, watching my stream today. Uh, thanks for uh, the tips there at the end and the, uh, the call-outs on what, uh, what I was missing as far as the, the colors go. They look really good all lined up together. Um, all nice and painted. I do wish now that the Green Ranger, that the Green, the Psycho Green didn't have the um, the terrain base on there. Uh, if I have time between now and when I have to ship this out uh, to back to Renegade, maybe I'll paint another green to match this set, and then keep this one for myself. Otherwise, uh, you know, this person's getting a really, really cool. Uh, uh, Psycho Green, because that turned out so, so good. Because, um, I, like I said, I think we did that in two streams. So I think we did um, highlights and stuff on the black and everything, which we, which I normally don't do, uh, just because we don't have the, the time in the stream. So um, Otherwise, maybe I'll paint another one someday. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm Daddy Louie. Uh, I am a member of the Circle of Nerds. You can find all my content over on YouTube.com slash Circle of Nerds. Go over there and subscribe to the channel. really helps us out a lot. Uh, thank you, as always, to Renegade for having me on stream. There's nowhere else I would rather be on this beautiful, uh, lovely Monday evening with you fine folk. Uh, don't forget, next week, Monday... We will be painting the last of the Rise of the Psycho Ranger box, which is the pink in space ranger. Um, love painting pink. And then uh, after that, make sure that you stay tuned for our uh, streams where I paint something purple. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. So uh, you won't want to miss that either. And uh, I think that's everything. Thank you. Make sure that you take care of yourself. Make sure that you take care of others. Enjoy the rest of your week, and remember to play your games. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.